So first I'm going to take the Essence palette. Um, they sent this to me and I wasn't sure how I was going to like it because it's drugstore prices. But I was really, really surprised. It's actually a really good beginner's palette. The taupes and the mauves are really good. If you're kind of just starting to learn how to work with eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take the grayish, blackish color. It's not that deep of a black, but I'm just really using this for my base, so it doesn't really matter. This is going to help me map out where I want those dark shimmery tones. Because once I put on the shimmers, it's going to be harder to blend and it's going to be easier to mess it up. So this is basically my roadmap. Alright, so here's where I'm taking the City Mini palette and I'm so excited to try this because I swatched it on my hands and it was just like amazing how pigmented they were. I couldn't believe it. So I'm starting to put that black, the glittery black over top of our base just to kind of work it in. We're going to clean it up. It doesn't have to be like super perfect. It's going to look really uncomfortable for a little bit. It's going to look really just messy, kind of like you got punched in the eyes. And when you're working with grays and blues, it's really easy to get that look. But Seriously, it's not a big deal. So here's where we're going to get the teal and we're just going to pop that into the middle and I like to go a little bit above my crease just to make my eyes look a little bit more bigger and more awake. And as you can see, this color is crazy pigmented. I didn't even wet the bristles. I'm literally just from brush to skin packing it on and I don't even have a ton on my brush and like you can see it's that good. So here again is where I'm just going to start cleaning it up. I'm going to start blending. I'm just like basically mapping out where I want that strong cat eye. Um, and I'm just building that color. I'm not worrying about it being too blended, too perfect. Because like I said, it is really messy. But the more you keep going back and blending, it will get better. So then as you can see, this brush has nothing on it. And this is where I'm blending and buffing out the edges. So we don't have like that really strong harsh line that you can kind of see at the end. Then I'm taking that lighter teal and I'm popping that over top just to give it a little bit more depth and just overall more like, I don't know, a little bit intense type of thing happening. Then I'm going to take the Essence Liner and I really, really like this liner. It's really easy to work with. It's nice and creamy. It's not oily or runny. It's nice and black as you can tell. So here I'm mixing, mixing the Milani Foundation and the YSL Primer. It has like gold flecks in it. I notice mixing this primer with any foundation because Milani is really, really thick and full coverage. I like that it almost makes it a little less and easier to work with and kind of spreads the foundation easier because sometimes it gets hard to pack on your skin and it does leave me with a nice little glow. So that's kind of been my trick lately. It's giving me that nice natural glow and finish and it doesn't make my face look all cakey. So I've been loving it. I think you guys should try it because you'll probably love it too. So here's where I'm taking the concealer. I wasn't a huge fan of the Essence concealer. Um, it is a little bit watery, but I like the color of it. It is really, really brightening. Um, I probably used a little bit too much around my chin area, but that's okay because I'm going to go back in with bronzer, so it doesn't matter. So here's where I'm blending it out with a damp beauty blender so I can pick up the excess of it and it's just not super cakey so I've just been trying to not look cake face lately I mean there's days where I love cake face but since it's been so hot I kind of just want everything really damp on my skin so I love 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 this pure cosmetics um, contour stick it is so blendable it's not even funny and I normally have such an annoying hard time with cream contouring because I don't have time to blend all day. It really drives me crazy. Um, so I really like this one. It's really easy to blend. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. Here I'm using the Damp Beauty Blender again. Just because like I said, I like to keep my skin a little bit moist. Which I know people hate that word. But that's like the best word I could come up with right now. Um, and then I'm taking the Fit Me Loose Trans Translucent Powder by Maybelline. I love this powder. I've talked to some people about it when I got to try it before it released, and it's just so good. It's nice and sheer and lightweight, but it has really great coverage. So then I'm taking the Pure Cosmetics Bronzer, which has a little bit of sparkle to it because I want to stay matte, but I want to stay glowy at the same time. I don't like to be too glowy because then I look oily, but I do like to have a little shimmer. So then I'm taking the Sigma Aurora, which is like this nice baby pink, and I'm popping that onto my cheeks just because I, I love a little bit of color on my cheeks, just because it looks more rosy or like you've been in the sun, whatever, blah. 
So then I'm putting on some eyeliner and I'm taking the same colors we used at the top and I'm going to place them right underneath on the bottom to really give it that big, strong, sexy cat eye, whatever you want to call it, porn star type of feels, you know. And then I'm going to take that teal, pop it underneath, then I'm taking the Sulacity. I don't even think I said that right really, but I'll put it in the comments below, details, whatever, description. And then I popped on some Ardell Double Up Lashes. They're the bomb when you want this like strong, smoky eye thing happening. They're some bomb lashes. Then I'm popping on some lipstick. This one's by MAC. I forget what it's called because they suck. I'll put it in the details. And I hope you guys like this video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Yeah. And don't forget to subscribe. Bleh.